Hello, Lorena Carr here for Daily Vibe Check. I'm like dropping cards everywhere. All right, so it is Monday, July 5th. Let's see what Spirit wants us to know today for our greatest and highest good as we kick off the week. All right. First card to come up, Queen of Pentacles. Hey, so this is a really good financial card. This is about stepping into your power. Um, it's also being a really good maybe like a good practical manager, someone who knows how to, to work hard, play hard, but still like really help manage other people and help with their, their financial situation or with their material comforts. Let's see what comes with it. The page of wands reversed. So maybe you've got a fiery child who needs to make some decisions for financial reasons or, um, Someone who doesn't really want to listen to you. Maybe you're helping to train them at work, or maybe it's just your kid. You know, they know everything, but they don't know everything. Yeah. So maybe it's going to be your job to step in and give a little bit of practical advice on money management, time management, um, maybe interview prep. Um, any, any, anything you can do to help manage and not dominate, but to really sh show good leadership skills in helping someone who's needing help with this. Let's see what the uh, our sacred destiny card is with it. Ooh, this, what goes with this queen of wands? I don't need 25 cards. All right. And page of, or queen of pentacles and page of wands. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So maybe as you are moving through this energy of this obnoxious child or even yourself, maybe you are, you've been striving for something and you got a bad message about it. Yeah. Or something you didn't want to hear. Maybe this is a saying, you know, be grateful for the things that you do have. Because while you may have wanted something that hasn't come to fruition yet, be grateful for it. Um, and also, you know, I talk a lot about that when manifesting. If you're working on manifestation, then you can't go into it with the mindset like, I'm wishing for things that I want. Because then you're going to manifest the want. You have to start being grateful as if it's already been delivered to you. Um, I had heard an analogy not too long ago that I really like to use and share. <clears throat> I wish I could remember who said it or I would give them full credit. When manifesting, imagine an Amazon box. You open your door and there's a box. And imagine opening it and just money flowing out or love flowing out or, you know, whatever it is that you're wanting. As you open the box, it's already there and you're just so thankful for it as if it's already been delivered to you. Try it. You'd be surprised how well it works. Have that sense of gratitude. So, so if, if we're gonna if we're gonna do a so pull three card draw and we're making it about ourselves instead of someone else, we're trying to find that balance, trying to manage things, get a message that we're just not that we're not vibing with or that is upsetting. So let's pull another card to see what the advice would be. Hanged man. Be patient. Wait. Also, see things from somebody else's perspective. Maybe what you see as defiant or negative. Maybe in time, if you can turn, if you can look at things from a different perspective and a different angle, then you will be able to accept things and maybe feel, maybe in that, again, going back to that gratitude thing. Um, and just realizing it's just, you know, sometimes we have to step back and give things time, give things time. Uh, we are very much in a do it now, have it now, need it now society. So find your balance, be practical. Even if you get some message that you don't want, wait it out. Look at things from a different perspective and be thankful. Be thankful for the things that you do have. And I don't mean that in a cliche way. If you're trying to manifest, be grateful for what you already have. Yeah, even if you don't have it, time is relative on the other side. There's, there is no time. So be thankful for it and you'd be surprised how quickly it shows up for you. Um, 
All right. So that was a short one. Great way to kick off a Monday. Um, there are only a few uh, seats left for the upcoming sign session that is July 28th um, at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So I believe that is 7 o'clock Mountain and 6 o'clock Pacific. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I could be making that up. I don't know. So there's only a few spots left. It's $30. You get message board, you get messages from all three uh, of us, Dana, Angie, and myself, uh, the sign team. And um, if you've never attended one, it is incredible. Um, we have a blast with it. We enjoy doing it. Uh, we enjoy hearing, you know, hearing the stories and interacting with everybody. But then when the three of us work together, there's just some insane magic that happens. I can't even describe it. Um, so if you can make that happen, make it happen. We tried to make it where it's like after kids go to bed, after dinner, by the time hubby's falling asleep on the couch or, you know, wife is falling asleep on the couch, whatever, feel free to join in on the readings. And we only, we only allow, um, we have a limited number of seating so everybody can get equal, equal time in their readings and feel like, you know, they're getting something that they, that's valuable. All right. Like, subscribe, share. Um, oh, follow me on TikTok. I have a TikTok thing now. I've been working on videos. The first two, or the first two that I just posted are kind of weird because it didn't occur to me that I had to like not do wording at the bottom because of all the other words that are at the bottom. So I had to move it to the top. So, you yeah, know, it's a work in progress. It's fine. It's fine. So make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, join our, our Facebook group, um, sign, uh, three women, one vision. Um, we often will throw in links to readings. Well, um, Dana was live in there uh, a couple days ago doing just readings for whoever was on, whoever jumped on that wanted a reading, she gave them a reading. So we're always trying to do stuff like that. Make sure you, so make sure you're following us and liking our stuff and all that good stuff. All right. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can find me at my, at my website, um, www.spiritmessagesfromtheotherside.com. Yes, I lost the weebly.com and I'm actually paying for that website now. It was a tough thing, but I finally did it. All right. So please check it out and, uh, let me know how this resonates with you. I hope you have a great Monday and a great beginning to your week. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you. Tomorrow. Bye.